Hi everyone, welcome to It's Just Me and Stuff. The porch portion tour of the video I actually recorded a couple weeks ago prior to doing the video tour of the rest of the house and that's because there was a freeze coming and I needed to go ahead and record it before the freeze killed the plants that are on the porch and the rest of the house wasn't quite ready yet because I needed to do some cleaning and straightening up as you know how that goes when you live in your own home. It's not going to look like a model home every single day. So anyway, so I wanted to guys I wanted to show you my front porch here, which is, um, it's looked the best it's ever looked, ever. <laughs> and so there is the welcome sign there that I have in a haul video, as well as the pumpkin doormat in front of the door. Um, on either side, there's two big pumpkins. Those are real pumpkins. They both came from Walmart, and they are $5 each, and I mean, they are big. One of them is bigger than the other one, though, but they are really nice. I thought a great deal for 5 bucks for those pumpkins. And then you see some of those foliage things that were going to die when this freeze comes in the next couple of days. Uh, just some potato plants, which I always have a lot of potato plants in my flower beds because they are easy. I can't kill them as I do not have a green thumb, so I have to have hardy, hardy plants. And then the stuff behind the potato plants, I don't even know. I don't know. I don't remember what they're called, but they're hardy too, and I can't really kill those very well. And then I have my little sign there. Um, from the Dollar Tree and I just think this you know it's not over the top and it's not too simple it's just right I think and I really like how it came out so anyway now moving on to the rest of the house okay now we're in the entryway of my home and over here to the left is the dining room which is currently being remodeled that's the reason why um, there is wallpaper being stripped off the walls over there but if you've seen my tablescape already you know that you've seen this before and it hasn't really changed. I will link um, the link, link the link, I will put the link to the Tablescape tour down in the description if you want to see a more detailed tour of this. So this is more of an overview as you can see. I have the lights turned off so you can see kind of the lit up stack candles a little bit better and the LED candles here and that one there and that one is pretty weak. I think the battery might be kind of dying. And then the string lights that are kind of woven throughout that. So that is the dining room, which doesn't look all that great, but the table kind of makes up for what's going on with the walls. So entering the living room. Over to the left is the console table, which you may have already seen as well in my fall sneak peek. But here it is again. Just going to kind of show you this again real quick. Got an overview. Then going this way into the living room, let's we'll start with the TV console here. So, got this candle holder on this side and on the other side with, these are real candles and so not LEDs inside. The candle holders came from Ross and this table runner which has like these gold leaves on it came from, I want to say TJ Maxx and then I have a little garland running across the front here. That came from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to back up so you can see it, take a better look at that. And over there are just some branches. I've had those for maybe a couple of years. I need to do something. The cords are a mess over there. I have to fix that later. Okay, and then here is my fall mantle, which you have seen if you've seen the console table. I will link that link down below. Link that link, I guess. <laughs> I'll put that link down below in the description. So just a quick overview of that again. There's my happy fall y'all sign. And then over here, we have this lovely lantern from Kirkland's. And I filled it with some real pine cones from my mom's house, actually. And then there's like a little glittery leaf and then some string lights and some little glittery pine cones in there as well. So there's that. Moving this way to the couch, which I'm kind of pretty proud of, um, with these pillows. So the blue pillows with this metallic um, pattern uh, decoration on it is from Home Goods, and I was really looking all over the place to find some navy blue pillows that really I really like that would really pop and look good with these two pillows that you've seen in one of my fall hauls the pumpkin one, and the thankful pillow. And so I think this looks really good. It turned out really well. 
I can't keep this, these pillows on my couch because the family just, they end up on the floor. So there's no fill in the couch with more pillows than this because these four don't even stay on the couch. So I think it's so pretty. It goes so well together. And then on the coffee table is pretty simple. There's this leaf bowl that I believe I picked up from Home Goods last year sometime. And I filled it with a bunch of this base filler that came. Some of most of it I think is from the Dollar Tree. And um, there's some other extra base filler I've gotten from somewhere else. And then we got some coasters here. And then this candle. I don't really burn this candle. It's, I just really got it for the color. So there's that one. Doesn't smell too bad, but it's okay. So very simple on the um, coffee table there. We're going to move around kind of towards the kitchen here. And I wanted to show you this other lantern. This one is also from Kirkland's, which I purchased earlier this year. And I just have a little bit of um, garland around and a couple little pumpkins kind of around it. I'm going to try to mess with that a little bit more um, eventually. And then here I've got a candle, let's stay home. I believe this is, it's not pumpkin cupcake, but it's pumpkin something, I remember. I don't really remember, but it smells great. So, it smells so delicious. So coming around here in the bar, and here's kind of the breakfast area. You'll have to excuse the plant over to the side. I'm trying to save it, it's about halfway dead. And you've seen this table probably before in the tablescape video, which like I said, will be in the description down below if you haven't seen it. Very simple. But over here is my bar cart. So let me kind of move this chair out of the way. It's kind of loud. So we can see the bar cart a little bit better. All fold up for the most part. So this Give Thanks sign came from the Target Dollar Spot. So did the little maple leaf salad plates right there. There's a little candle called pumpkin pecan pie, which I have not burned yet, but I bet that smells amazing. Sitting on top of one of the little cupcake stands from the Target dollar spot. Oh, I can't talk. There's some various straws, I'm sure, that came from Target as well. The napkins, I believe, came from Tuesday morning, and I think those were the same napkins I had before when I did this my last um, bar cart tour. Um, and those coasters as well, as well as the pitcher. And here are these cute little maple leaf string lights. I guess you can see a theme here. I love my string lights. These came from the Dollar Tree, I believe. And over here is this happy fall um, of hand, hand towel. It's like, oh, I can't remember what it's called with a blue truck on it. Some pumpkins. Very cute. And I believe it came from Big Lots. And down here, this is pretty much hasn't changed much. I got this copper tray that's still empty, but I'm going to put candy in it later. And there's a cute little owl that came from the dollars, um, Dollar Tree on top of the cupcake stand. And of course, a bunny. The bunnies, as you know, are like all year round for me. And some, some boring salad plates back there. And a cute little white lantern, which I think was on there before. So I didn't do a whole lot. I did, you know, do a few things with the bar cart and make it festive for fall and Thanksgiving. So there you have that. So let's swing over here. I may have to turn on the lights. It's kind of dark. Okay. And on the kitchen island, I have this tray. This tray normally sits on the coffee table, actually. But I brought it in here. I thought it'd be great. I've got my pretty swirly glass pumpkin there. We got two little corn stalks a little burlap pumpkin, a couple of pine cones, and this candle holder, which currently doesn't have a candle in it right now. And it says Happy Fall on it. So I thought that was cute. I may actually um, do something with the pine cones, maybe paint them, spray paint them silver or something, or glitter. I don't know. I do have a couple DIY things for fall that I think I said in my last video hang on, I'm going to do some of those videos or some of those DIYs. I haven't actually done that yet. I've kind of started it. So those will be some extra things I'll show later that will go probably in the kitchen because there's not a whole lot going on in the kitchen. Um, so I got this little I'm thankful for sign, which I haven't written anything in yet because I need some chalk. And of course another little bunny, little plant over there. So 
as you can see, I still got space I can definitely work with and fill. You have to excuse the water that's sitting on the floor over there. Um, so that's really it. Oh, I got this poor chair hanging out in the middle. Excuse that plant, like I said. So let me get back over here so you guys can kind of see more of the overall picture of the living room. Kind of pan a little bit around. So, not too great. Always a work in progress going on around here. Oh, I actually forgot to talk about this little pillow. So, over here on the sofa chair is that little pumpkin pillow. And I believe I had this pillow, oh, focus, in a haul, too. It's also from, um, I want to say it's from TJ Maxx, I think, so... Forget about that little pillow hanging out. So that is all. I hope you liked this video. If so, please like it. <laughs> Give it a thumbs up, right? And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe if you want to see more stuff like this. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for those who have subscribed. And I'll see you all next time. Bye.